Hello and welcome to tutorial for your channel. In this video, I will show you how to fix this version of Vanguard requires Windows 20H1 or later when 9006 error code. Then find the Valorant shortcut, right click on it and select properties. In the properties window, go to the compatibility tab. Look for the option that says run this program as an administrator and enable it by checking the box. Then click on apply and OK. First of all, this error is straightforward, indicating that you need to update your windows. To do that, search for windows update settings and open it. Here you will see available updates. If you don't see any, click on check for update. This will search for available updates. Once you find the updates, click on download and install and your windows will be updated. Your PC may restart so make sure to save all your important work. After the restart, check if the error is gone. If it's gone, congratulations and enjoy the game. Otherwise, you can try the second method, updating your windows from the official Microsoft website. I will provide this link in the description. On the website, click on update now. This will download a Microsoft program. Run it as an administrator and it will find the available updates for your windows. As you can see, I just updated my windows using the previous method. So it's showing me this message. Otherwise, it will give me an option to update. So give this method a try. Method 1 should work for you. If it works, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't work, still let me know in the comments. Open your command prompt as an administrator and run the following command. I will provide this command in the description. This command will turn off your hypervisor. Turning off the hypervisor may affect the ability to run the virtual machines. You can also turn it back on later if you want. Click on the start menu in the bottom left corner of your screen and select settings the gear icon from the start menu. In the setting windows choose privacy and security or update and security based on your windows version. Click on the window security in the left side bar. In the window security, locate and click on device security. Under device security, find and click on core isolation. Look for the core isolation details section. In the core isolation details section, check if memory integrity is turned on. If it's turned on, toggle the switch to turn it off. Memory integrity is a security feature in Windows that helps protect your system against certain types of attacks. However, do it at your own risk. After turning off memory integrity, it's essential to restart your computer. If prompted, restart your device as instructed. After completing this step, open the game again. This time run it as an administrator. You should see that the game will start working again. If none of this solution work for you, don't worry. I have a complete list dedicated to the relevant errors. You can find the link to the playlist in the description below. If this video has helped you, please give this video a like and if you want to support this channel, hit the subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.